sometimes it's hard for me to understand how we all we pull away from each other so easily even though we are walking along the same road yet we build divided walls between our brothers oh between our brothers and ourselves I don't care Oh, what label you may wear If you believe in Jesus Don't you know You belong with me You belong with me Oh, the vibe that we all share Is all I care
Hallelujah. Amen. We thank the Lord for this beautiful Sunday morning, afternoon. You know, it's uh, between morning and afternoon, so we can take the morning. And um, I believe that God has prepared us ready and um, to minister to us and affect our lives. Amen. Amen. I always want to emphasize that God's word is what he has set aside and prepared and used to bless many people and many lives. If you need a breakthrough, it's couched in his word. If you need any deliverance, it is through his word that deliverance will come your way. Can I have an amen there? And so this morning, we are really privileged. And when you also have a man that is seasoned, a seasoned minister, one that is knowledgeable in the word and is, 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 is endowed with the anointing to deliver it so that the word can be practicalized and also can bless your life and bring you an enablement to do his will, then you are also in a good place. And thank God this morning that we are in such a place where the word of God is, where God's word will have a free course and has a free course amongst us. I want you to be ready to receive from the word of God. I want you to be alert and open because God's word will change your life and God's word will bless you wherever you are seated. I want us to stand to our feet together and welcome our bishop as he comes to minister powerfully the word of God. Almighty God, come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There's a wind a blowing. There's a wind a blowing now, yeah. Oh, oh, let's go. It's a fragrant breeze. Oh, it is blowing once again. Where it goes, don't know where it goes, but let it blow, but let it blow over me. Blowing once again, once again. I don't know where it comes from. Don't know where it comes from. Oh, don't know where. But let it blow. But let it blow over me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Sweet wind, hey. Come and blow over. Let it go. 
drops of love, man. Can you feel it pouring? Can you feel it pouring? Oh, pouring from the sky. Pouring, yeah. Let it pour over me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Sweet rain, yeah, yeah. Come and pour over me. That's a wind I'm blowing. That's a wind I'm blowing. Your hands together for the Lord. All I, I said, your hands, your hands together for the Lord. Fragrant breeze. It is blowing once again. Blowing once again. Oh, I don't know where it comes from. Don't know where it comes from. I don't know where it goes. Don't know. But let it blow. But let it blow over me. welcome you to pour over us like rain. We welcome you to blow over us like the wind. We welcome you to speak to us like the mighty one that you are. Teach us, Lord. Let us not leave this place the same. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 1, women with direction in general, daughters of destiny in general, and today we are moving on to a new aspect of daughters of destiny. Amen. Now, How many are glad that I'm preaching about women? How many are not glad? Right. You, you are some way if you are not glad. There's fear in the church. Stop that rub there. Luke chapter 1. The title of my message is Daughter While You Wait. Daughter while you wait or if you like woman while you wait you will understand the message as we go along while w h i l e while or while 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 you y o u or you can just use you wait w a i T. Wait. Waiting on the Lord. All right? Now, many women in the past have seen themselves basically as um, 
being the wife of so and so so they often derive their identity from their marriage and um, I always remember this when I get up here but one day I will uh, read it out to you I have said over and over like Jesus himself was asked the question that there was a man who was married to a woman and he died and after a while the man died then his brother married the, the, the wife and then after a while the brother died and then the second brother married the wife and he also died and the third married the wife and he also died and the fourth married the wife he also died the sixth married the wife until seven different guys had married her and the question is in eternity whose wife will she be do you understand the question do you understand the question and the question was answered beautifully by Jesus who said you don't understand or understand what is happening you people think that marriage is an eternal thing it is not it is a temporary arrangement for this earth to help you to be warm at night to help you not to be lonely to help mankind to be able to bring forth like the baby we just dedicated I see somebody being married in Jesus name right now God is giving to you take it somebody's taking on stage <laughs> Verse number. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, let's turn to Matthew chapter 22. And we want to read from verse number 23. Matthew 22. Verse number 23. And anytime you want to preach about women with direction, you better find this scripture. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> and the same day came to him the sad to seas. In other words, the sad to see people which say that there is no resurrection there are some people you are sad to see is that not so 24 saying master moses said if a man die having no children his brother shall marry his wife and raise up seed unto his brother now there were with us seven brethren and the first when he had married a wife deceased and having no issue left his wife unto his brother you see this whole when you read this is like a woman was some kind of inheritance which was being transferred <laughs> from brother to brother you see that, that picture gives us the picture like a, a woman is some kind of an object that is transferable transferable assets but I believe a woman is more than that can I have an amen, amen. now likewise the second also and the third unto the seventh all of them died now somebody would have said this woman is really bad woman she kills all her husbands and last of all the woman died also therefore in the resurrection whose wife shall she be of the seven for they all had her and jesus answered and said unto him ye do err not knowing the scriptures nor the power thereof for in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage but are as the angels of heaven angels of God in heaven Wow Wow Amen 
So we are going to be like angels. Tiku, is that not wonderful? No marriage in heaven. No children. No weddings. Just happiness. <laughs> is that not wonderful? So who is the woman? Or who is a woman? Is she Mrs. So this woman's name changed seven times. So if she was deriving her identity, when we say deriving her identity, that's who is she? What is she becoming in this life? What is she doing from her husband? Then it means she's going to change seven times in this life. She's going to change into seven different people. Because she's Mrs. Jackson, Mrs. Jackson, Mrs. Davis, Mrs. Robertson. <laughs> so each time she marries again, seven times, probably every five years or every two years, she'll change and she'll become this. No, 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 it can't be possible. That, that's not a woman. A woman is created by God. And when the blood of Jesus washes you, it washes you as much as it washes a man. You are redeemed as much as a man is redeemed. Your name is written in the book of life in the same way that a man's name is written in the book of life. You are as saved as a man is saved. You are as called as a man is called. You are as sanctified as a man is sanctified. You are as anointed as a man is anointed. In fact, you are more open to the anointing than the men are. Yeah. I've told you, I can show you example after example after example where there was a man and a woman and the woman always received the anointing before the man. That's why when people are starting churches, often there are more women than men. Because the women see earlier and sense earlier the presence of God. Amen. Amen. So who are you, woman? Woman, who are you? Are you Mrs. or are you you? It is society which is making you out to be less of a woman because you are not married. We are so concerned about what people think. But what people think is not always important. Yesterday I went to preach in Achimota school. I was happy to preach. I always like preaching in secondary schools. I remembered when we were in school, there were people who would fold their shirts like this and smoke. And then they would also smoke weed. And they were the wild guys in the school. And there were people who would run away and take their parents' cars and come back to school and screech. They would go around, you know, Achimota school being such a great school as it is, has two compounds, the eastern compound and the western compound. Please don't be jealous. <laughs> now, on the western compound, are you listening to me? Yeah. There are four houses, two girls' houses and then two boys' houses. In between the girls' houses and the boys' houses is what we call the plains. We have a vast expanse of land for sports, walking, relaxation, athletics, anything. Happiness. <laughs> Some people would bring their parents' cars and come to that piece of land in between the boys' houses and the girls' houses, and they would turn their cars around in circles. They would go around, and we would all be watching. Hey, Charlie. The guy is wild. The guy will go around with the car until we can no longer see the car. Only the dust. Oh, Sato, you remember? And we used to, she, these guys are wild. Then there were people who had girlfriends and boyfriends. And they were like the wild people who have really, you know, shared in the school. There were those who could run away without exit. We call it popping. They could pop. No problem. These were the great guys. Today, where are these people? Who we thought, you see, that was our community, that was our society. That was all we knew. Our world was the school. So in our little world, 
We thought that these things were great, but in reality, they were foolishness. It's foolishness to roll your shoulder and roll, roll your shirt and roll your shorts and smoke. I mean, all sensible people are, stop, are stopping smoking. Sensible people are stopping. Something that kills you and something that clearly causes cancer. I mean, all the governments of the world are banning the advertisement of, of these things. It is clearly a killer. So when you come, <laughs> you're, you're making, it's foolishness. Foolishness has made its masterpiece. But I'm just saying this to say that, you see, in every little world, in every little community, the community sets up values, norms, standards, whether they are good or not. And then when you are in that little community, you somehow begin to accept and receive those standards as your standards. But that's why we come to church. So that you can now receive God's standards. Because the community may teach us that these things are great. But the word of God may show us that, no, it's not necessarily great. Like the community, in our community, I mean, many people would not like to work in a church or for the church. At least some time ago and even now. Because it's like you have a stigma. It's like you, you don't even work. They think you do nothing. But in reality, it is the best opportunity you could ever have. But we wouldn't know until you lie down in the coffin and we are burying you and you are walking in heaven. Say, what? So you, don't, you mean I don't have anything in heaven? You don't have anything here. Everything you have is on earth. Oh, really? And you go by and you see big people, people who died for Christ, who get, and you see them as big, big lords and so on. You realize that you are nobody in heaven. Say, what? I don't have anything. Yeah. You had an opportunity to work for the Lord, but you said you were going to work for uh, so and so. You forgot to remember? And you prefer to work for the devil than to work for the Lord. You remember? Those who are working for the Lord are. There's a guy you see, that big man who's passing by with. You don't have any car in heaven. They have chariots. You are walking. You are going to walk for eternity. They are going to drive chariots for eternity. Actually, eternity, things are permanent. One day you see, oh, yeah, I remember when I went to medical school, 1982 October. 1982 October, yeah. I sat in the classroom with my friend and I friend nearby and I said, Caroline, I said, are you sure we are in the right place? She said, I don't think we are in the right place. I said, do you think we can make it? 1982, says seven years to go before we become doctors. I can't wait. She also said, I can't wait. And she said she's going to call her parents also to, to see whether she can leave the school. Because we couldn't wait. It was too long. And let me tell you something. One day, eh, like I'm talking like this now, we'll all be in heaven or wherever you'll be. You say, ah, we were there. Bishop was preaching just like this. We thought it was some far something that would never happen. Ah, it has come and we are there. Because soon you and I, Charlie, we won't be around. We'll be gone like that. And others will be here. And we will be in heaven, relaxing or sweating. Like angels. You won't be Mrs. or Mr. When I see my wife or you see your wife, say, oh, hi, where are you staying now? I say, oh, okay, I'll see you. <laughs> There's no beloved, nothing. Nothing will matter. You get to heaven and say, okay, um, I was the director for um, Social Security Banking. I said, I said look, uh, you, the angel will tell you, listen, listen. Social Security Bank, first of all, among the banks in the world, it doesn't come anywhere at all. <laughs> in the first place, in the secular world, before even from earth to heaven, there is no value. It has no value. That's right. And you see, I was a director, and in fact, I wanted to understand that. Um, I'm a very, very, very important person. You can go and ask yourself, you are important, but here you are not important. You were important, but here you are not important at all. 
In fact, you are here by the skin of your teeth. You are here by the grace of God. Aside, the important people are coming from earth now. When it's time for reception, they are registering you. Say, oh, yeah. The common people to the left. And then the executive ones. Those who gave up their lives for the Lord. Those who put down for the Lord. I, I built a very nice house on earth. In fact, if you, you can ask any pastors to go and stay there now, I don't mind. If only you give me a nice place to see <laughs> You are now sending a message <laughs> to earth that they should use your house for accommodation for pastors. Please stop that rub there. <laughs> it's too late. It will happen like that, Jim, Jim, Jim. After you wait and see, I, I will never forget as I sat in that classroom in the medical school. I, will, I remember the particular girl I sat by. I didn't know her. I mean, we, we had just met in the school. I said, Carol, are we in the right place? As the man was giving them, I said, ah, all this note, it looks like one term note. We have given us one hour. All these notes. Is, are we supposed to write? I remember times I asked, are we supposed to write what you say? I said, you yeah, are supposed to write what you say. <laughs> when will we finish? But look at that. I finished in 1989. It's 1999 now. Ten years have already gone by. A time we can be in heaven. Years have gone by. Now we've arrived long time. Long time. Angel of the Lord, I've got a taxi in Accra. You can tell them that they should give the um, sales to the church. <laughs> it's late. I was Mrs. So and so. Uh huh. You are now like an angel. If you like, inspect yourself. You realize we are neither male nor female. Oh, yeah. You have become like an angel. We may even fly. <laughs> Jesus walked through walls when he was raised from the dead. His body is not going to be like our body. Please start preparing for heaven now. My job is to tell you to pray. The news readers, their job is to tell you all the bad things that are happening in the world. My job is to tell you to prepare for something real that is going to come. And it's going to happen, whether you like it or not. So, while you wait, to get to heaven. <laughs> Luke chapter 1. Matthew, Mark, Luke. This is a nice story. We often read it when we are doing baby dedications and outdoorings. For as much as many have taken to hand to set forth the order, declaration, blah, 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 blah. Verse 5. There was in the days of Herod, Luke chapter 1, the king of the a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abia and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron and her name was Elizabeth and they were both righteous before God walking in all the commandments and the ordinances of the Lord blameless and they had no child because that Elizabeth was barren and they both were now well stricken in years. Years. Is that the correct way to say it? Years? My wife says I shouldn't say years. I say years. She's not minding me. Verse 9. According to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of Delag. And when the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of the incense, and there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. And the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. But he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just 
to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zechariah said to the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife, <laughs> my wife, she's well stricken in years. And she's an old lady, she's a yomo. And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel, that's standing in the presence of God, and I am sent to speak unto thee and to show thee these glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb, and not be able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed, because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. Hmm. And the people waited. You see, there were a lot of people outside waiting as he was burning the incense inside. That's how they prayed. And the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them. And they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple. When you see visions and dreams, don't just blurt it out. Sometimes when you come out of seeing a vision, you should be dumb. And when you go and say all the things that God has said to you and God has shown you, you can get yourself into a lot of trouble. Hmm. For he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. And it came to pass that as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, they departed to his own house. After those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived. Now, it's a nice way of saying they had sex. They conceived. And hid herself five months, saying, Thus had the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me. All right. Are you there? Yes, Wonderful. Now, after that, the story of Mary comes. Now, in verse 39, Luke chapter 1, verse 39. And Mary arose in those days. Mary was also visited by an angel and was also impregnated by the Holy Ghost. Now, Verse number 39. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into a city of Judah and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the baby, I said the baby, leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. These things are real. And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Whence is this to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the baby leaped in my womb for joy. <laughs> That is John the Baptist, so when he was in the womb, he was already anointed, filled with the Holy Ghost. So when he heard the sound of the voice, babies can hear the sound of the voice, amen. When he heard the sound of the voice, he started moving and shaking. He wanted to come out immediately because he heard the sound of Mary, the mother who was carrying Jesus. And John the Baptist inside knew that Jesus was there. I see your baby being filled with the Holy Ghost even in your womb, in Jesus' name. Some of you don't believe it, but as many as believe it, receive it in Jesus' name. And as, lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the baby leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed. For there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Oh, and then Mary also began to flow in the Holy Ghost. These are women with direction who were interacting. <laughs> One woman meets another and then she begins to be filled with the Holy Ghost and start to flow in prophecies. Today, when ladies meet, they start to gossip. Eh, have you heard that this and that? Eh, eh, and I hear that she was going here. Eh, and what are you going to do now? Eh, and I hear that she has taken another beloved. And I hear that. That's why it's moving close to him now. In fact, everybody is speculating that it's actually going to be her. But when Elizabeth saw Mary, Holy Ghost was moving. This one was prophesying, blessed is she. Blessed is she. Blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance. Then Mary also began 
My soul doth magnify the Lord. And my spirit, what? Praise, Praise his name. Oh, tell it. Mm. For he hath regarded low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath done to me great things, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. A spiritual woman is talking. He hath sold strength with his arm, hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their heart. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and exalted them of low degree. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent them away. He hath opened his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, and he spake to our fathers. And to his seed forever. And Mary abode with her about three months and returned to her own house. These are daughters of destiny. If you are going to marry, brothers, if you are going to marry somebody, marry one of these types Mary Elizabeth combination. You need a Mary Elizabeth combination. And if you have family friends, let your family friends be like Mary Elizabeth. When Mary meets Elizabeth, you see, you, you people don't know. It's possible to talk about spiritual things all the time. It's possible. Talk about spiritual things all the time. You just hear the news. Oh, the queen has come. This one has resigned. This is happening. This one is doing that. And so on. After that, two minutes. My soul doth magnify the Lord. And then Elizabeth will shout, Blessed are thou amongst women. You see, she was even happy at the other sisters that she was moving on. Say, Blessed are thou amongst women, for there shall be a performance. And Mary said, ha, 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 For the Lord has exalted me. The Lord has blessed me from generation to generation. He has raised me up from the down, the, from the dust. These are daughters, proper sisters. If you are going to marry one, select a proper one. Not those that are just titter. Eh, my mother has said that this and that and that. And my father and my mother and my father. Your mother, your father, your mother, your father. Your mother, your father, your mother, your father. Your mother, your father, your father are not even born again. Every day your mother, every day your father, every day your mother. Listen to me. Elizabeth eh, was a very wild daughter of destiny. Very wild woman. I want you to listen carefully as I share with you for just a few moments. She was a woman who has believed God for a child for a long time. For many, many, many years. Just like many women today are believing God for a child. Many are believing God for a husband. Many are believing God for a, a beloved. And I've been waiting. And she waited for a long time. She was, she was believing God for years. She was coming to church all the time. Pastor Eddie, she was in church all the time with her husband flowing in the temple. The Bible says her husband was of the order of the priest of Abijah or so, and she was of the daughters of Aaron. She was the daughters of Aaron. She was one of a line, a prophetic priestly woman. Her work was in the temple, and she had been praying to God, Oh God! I can see them. Look at them getting married. Look at that beautiful bride. What's your name, Mr. Sister Bride? What's your name? Leticia, sit down, please. A bride does not stand in, uh, just <laughs> like that. Leticia. Oh, oh, Lord, I can see. You see the question? I can see Leticia, Lord. Yes, last week it was Rose. The other week it was uh, 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 Rosemary. The other week it was uh, uh, Amma. The other week it was uh, uh, Auntie. The other week it was Nana. Uh, uh, Nana. Nana. And the other week it was na Nana. And it was <laughs> Nana. It was Nana. It was Nana. You know, Nana. <laughs> oh, Lord. What about me? Lord, when are you going to move? When are you going to move? Lord, when is that golden man going to come my way and say, oh, the moment I saw you, my heart missed three beats. <laughs> when is the man going to come and look at me and, and tell me, you're so beautiful. Were you created or were you crafted? <laughs> Oh, 
I've been waiting because it has happened for Leticia, it happened for Rosemary, it happened for Nana, it happened for Nana, it happened for Nana. <laughs> Only Nana. <laughs> Lord, what are you going to do it for me? Please, Lord, I've been coming to church. I've joined the choir. Everybody can see me now. I'm singing for the Lord and nothing is happening, Lord. Please, when are you going to move? Daughter, I have a message for you today. Whilst you wait for the Lord to move on your behalf, while you wait, for God to do that powerful miracle that you've been praying for, while you wait, while you wait, because God is definitely going to move. He may not come when you exactly expect him to come, but he is going to definitely, I see him moving right now as I'm talking, moving in your life. He is definitely going to work in your life. <laughs> And brothers, while you wait, I know some of you are waiting for certain things to materialize. <laughs> Receive it. <laughs> Daughters, I want to tell you, you are not the first person who had to wait. You are not the first person who had to wait. Amen. Amen. Look at Elizabeth. Verse 5. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abia, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Whilst you wait, verse 6, they were both righteous before God. Number one, while you wait, be righteous. Be righteous. Whilst you are waiting, for God to move, be a righteous person. There are many people, as they wait for God to make a move, they start messing up their lives. They start playing the fool. They start living in sin. They start taking one boyfriend after. They start moving out with people's husbands. They start doing things that they should not do whilst they wait. But the Bible says that this woman was righteous. God selected her. God made her. She waited and waited and waited. And, and you know what? She waited until the normal waiting period was over. It was now even no more a matter of waiting. It was a matter of all things are over. And she waited until, and throughout the waiting period, she was a righteous. Bible said they were both. You can see the type of woman she was. You see, one day somebody wanted to marry a certain sister, and I told, I told him, listen, you don't know much about it. I'll give you a strategy if you want to know her. Because he was a pastor. So I said, when you go for prayer meeting, just call her out to summarize the prayer. And then I said to him, I said to him, listen to her prayer. You know her. So they went for the prayer meeting. He called one sister. You know, so that she wouldn't know that, you know. Called one sister. Called another. Then he called her sister. Then sister prayed. Ho ho. <laughs> when she prayed, you could see what type of person she was. You can know somebody as a, if you want, brothers, uh, when you visit somebody, maybe you're trying to follow up. You, you know what I mean? Just, 
before you go, say, I want to pray with you. And he says, can you pray before I pray? Or I'll pray and then you pray. Father, I think. Some people say, Father, we are happy. Hey, God, thank you today. Hey, yeah, it is well, it is well. Amen, Lord. You have moved today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for power and glory. Power and glory. Amen. You realize that, Charlie? Melele, you don't have to go near at all. <laughs> and some people can only pray in tongues. Amen, Lord. Amen, Lord. Amen, Lord. Amen. No. As if it's, no, after that, you pray in English or Chi or whatever language, but you pray, let me hear. I want to hear. You can hear the type of person that Elizabeth was. For he said, Blessed art thou amongst women. Believe in God, for there shall be a performance of those things that were spoken. What type of person is talking? This is a deep woman who knows God. Talking to another deep person who have had interactions with angels and spirits. Woman, whilst you wait, get deeper with God. Write it down. Whilst you wait, get deeper. Get deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. Go deeper with God. Go deeper in God. Go deeper. Whilst you wait for your blessing, while you wait for God to give you that husband, give you that child, give you that situation, brothers, while you wait for God to give you whatever you are waiting for, get deeper with God. Elizabeth was a righteous woman. And she was a deep woman. While you wait. Those of you in the choir, while you wait, please get deeper. For deep calls unto deep. If you want a deep person to marry you, go deep. Because it's a deep person who will call another deep person. A deep person can see a shallow person straight away. But a deep person can recognize another deep person and say, this is what I want. This is what I like. Number two or three, whilst you wait, become a leader. This woman was a leader. She was, Elizabeth was a leader in the house of the Lord. She was not just a common person. She was of the order of the daughters of Aaron. Become a leader. The next one is become a pastor. This woman was a priest. She was a daughter of the priest. And they were ministering. The Bible says he and his wife, both of them were righteous. Ministering in the temple about holy things. Whilst you wait, become a minister for God. I tell you, when you marry, you find it difficult to become a minister. Mrs. Yeah. Saki, is it not true? Very true. When you are married, things are different. Whilst you wait, sisters, daughters of Jesus, daughters of the Lord, whilst you wait for God to move on your behalf, brothers, while you wait, go deeper in God. Get deeper, get deeper, get deeper. Look at this woman. She was a daughter of Aaron. She was a priest. And thank God she waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. And he waited and she believed in God. She believed in God. She believed in God. Daughters, the next message I want to tell you, whilst you wait, have faith. Have faith. Never lose faith. Never, never get to the point where you are just depressed, you are just down, you don't believe. Because you see, when even a vision comes, when even God begins to send you practical blessings, you can easily doubt them. That's right. And so a woman of faith, a daughter of faith, when, her, when the angel came and said, you know, uh, you are going to have a baby, when she went home with her husband, oh lady, Honey, we are 74 by two. You know, let's try and become 26 again. Husband said, Oh, I'm very old now. I don't have any power. I need mighty power. <laughs> I need mighty power. Have a drink to charge me up. But she believed God. Oh, yeah. When people get older, there are certain things which happen less frequently, naturally. 
But when she heard that she was somebody who has a child by prophecy of angel, she went to the house and said, look, Charlie, we have to, because she did not conceive by the Holy Ghost. It was Mary who conceived by the Holy Ghost, but not Elizabeth. So she had to do her best. Listen to me. Don't lose faith. Elizabeth told Mary, there shall be a performance. Amen. I have learned from experience. There shall be. The thing that Bishop has been saying, there shall be a performance. When you meet another person, there shall be a performance. All those prophecies and other things that you are going to be blessed. I see you marry. I see you become a millionaire. Charlie, a woman of faith, a daughter of faith, there shall be a performance. I do. There shall be to happen. You meet your sister, say, tell her brother, you are walking, but there shall be a performer. I see you driving in a car. I see God lifting you up. I see God blessing you and taking you forward. It shall come to pass. Yes, sir. Daughters of faith. Daughters, daughter, whilst you wait, exercise your faith. Daughter, while you wait, speak positively. Speak your faith. Don't be afraid. You have nothing to lose anyway. There shall be a performance. Daughter, while you wait, have faith. Speak what you are. And then, daughter, whilst you wait, be practical. You see, because if you don't have sex, you can't be pregnant. Eh, another month has passed and I'm not pregnant. This month, what did you do in the house? When you went home with your husband, what did you do? Eh, I'm tired. Every day is worrying me. Every day is worrying me. All I want is pregnancy so that I'll be free. How can you be pregnant without planting a seed? Bishop, what you are saying is not practical. I don't think there's anybody in the church who will be doing that thing. <laughs> Listen to me. Even doctors will be advising patients that you want to be pregnant, but you don't want to do what you have to do to be pregnant. You want a husband? Smile. Yes, sir. Lena, if you don't, go and practice it. Just like, Because nobody wants to marry someone who is who doesn't have any feelings. You want to marry something that is warm. You want to marry something that is cheerful. There are some people who have automatic smiles. Just <laughs> Are they coming? What is that? Be warm. And then you've got to be friendly if you want. You believe God. You believe there shall be a performance. You've got to be friendly. You've got to be open. Yes. Elizabeth went home and said, honey, listen. I'm 74. I've stopped having my period years ago. Look at my body. My body has become like Charlie Wati. I'm just old. <laughs> <laughs> but listen. God says he's going he's to give us a pregnant. So let's just believe God and then act. Do something. Do what we have to do. You believe in God to get married? Do what you have to do. One day I called a certain lady. I said to her, listen, you are, you are losing your beloved. Stand there very well, otherwise you're going to lose him. I told her, I see you losing your beloved a long time. She didn't do what I said, so she lost him. I told her, I said, you are losing him. You've got that some time. You've got to do something. Either get your blessing or retain your blessing. There are some people that are losing their husbands. You've got to do what you have to do, otherwise you are losing him and you lose him. It's not just a, there shall be a performance. There shall be a performance. You are a righteous woman, you are a leader, you are a pastor, you are this, you are this, you are that. But there are also practical things that you've got to do. Right. Daughter, whilst you wait, be a practical woman. You are believing God to prosper. Whilst you wait for that blessing and that breakthrough, be practical. You've got to go to work. You've got to find a job. You've got to write letters. You've got to be friendly. You've got to see the people you know. You've got to make moves that you have to move. Because God is intending to bless you. But as you wait, while 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 you wait. Elizabeth. Oh, thank God for this woman. Pastor Eddie. What? She waited and she waited and she waited. I just want to, I want to say one thing that I want to, to get into every heart. While you wait, do not become bitter. Do not become bitter. 
Many people become bitter. Dr. Zomola, are you aware that some people have grudges against God? In Mark 11, verse 25, the Bible says that when you stand praying, if you have ought against any, forgive. Ought against any. Any means any, including God. I have had grudges against God before. I have wondered why God would allow certain things to happen. In fact, I remember when I had um, an accident when I was traveling to Tamale. I mean, I said to myself, listen, what is all this? Me? I remember one time I was talking to a pastor and I was telling him that I'm going to start a church in the north. And so he told me, me, I don't have any calling for such places. <laughs> That's what he told I don't have any calling for such places. And if you have ever been to the north before, you realize that the north is different from the south. When I told him I was going to the north, he told me, me, I don't have calling for such places at all. It's up to you. And me, I'm taking myself to try hard and spread out and stretch far and invest and let the work of God go far. Because to me, I say the soul is a soul. Whether it's in the north or the south, a soul is a soul. And I am going all the way to the north to preach. And right beside me is my pastor from Kumasi. And then behind is Canada. Behind is uh, uh, Zurich. And we are all in the car. We get to uh, Techiman. No problem. We get to Kintampo. We get down. We have a drink. And we continue driving. And I'm driving myself. I'm saving money for the church. I don't have a driver. If I have a driver, I have to pay a salary. Betty, is it not true? Betty, is it not true that I'm saving money? Betty, is it true? Yes. Saving money. I'm driving myself. When I get there, I'll get out of the car and preach. Myself. What else? I'm going far to the north. We pass the Buipe border. People in the car sleeping. None of them is going to preach. I'm the one going to. Everybody's sleeping. Because the car crash closed his eyes and he just relaxed. <laughs> Music is playing and they are just comfortable. I've been driving seven hours from Accra. And suddenly, two bicycles. I, re- I will never forget. As I pressed the brake and the car started to skid, I said, eh? It's not possible. <laughs> We're facing a car. <laughs> I said, it's not possible. That, then I, I, I said that, you know, a bad thing is happening, but a very bad thing cannot happen. Yeah. So I said that, means, you know, this is the end of it. But that was not the end of it. <laughs> To my sister, I was going around the car. I can remember the thought that passed my mind. It's not possible. It's not possible that it is happening. Mm. I came out of the car. My shoes were up. And I said, Kaka, where are my keys? <laughs> they thought I was mad. And I got to Tamale with my cut leg, everything. I was standing there. And they, I had to preach. The pastor didn't even seem to know the extent of the accident. He said, you know, the people are waiting there, so we have to go now. I said, said, okay, no problem. Let's go. (laughs) And I wore my uh, slippers, because I couldn't wear shoes. And I went to the church to preach. Open the Bible, and I preach. And I said, oh God, me, I'm trying to do your work. Why are you trying to kill me? (laughs) Oh God, why are you trying to kill me now? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Why, 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 Why am I almost dying now? What is going on? If anything, I'm expecting blessings. Why am I, why am I almost dead? I tell you, a lot of things went through my mind. When I was going back to Tamale after that accident, it took a lot to steady my heart so that you are going there. 
you are going there. Have you heard? Let's go. You can have a grudge against God because what you expect God to do, he does not do. Look at how we have been cheated, misrepresented, broken down our walls. People in government places have painted us as enemies. And we just look and I say, Lord. So I asked myself, you know, when this was, you people don't know, you see, you come and you go. We, we are here. This, this is my work. This is my life's work. My whole life is here. Yeah. This is it. So I, came, I remember when this thing happened. At that point, I became so depressed. I didn't, when I saw somebody building something, I just said, oh, you are wasting your time. Oh, I just said in my mind, I said, oh, 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 you are wasting your time. They will break it for you one day. Oh. <laughs> it was difficult for me to just gather myself and say, you can continue doing what you are doing. And we will pray sometimes, we'll come and we'll speak big, big words. Then I'll meet pastors in town, they'll ask me, ah, have you been praying? Then I'll meet pastors and say, you see, uh, you need certain types of prayer. Do you fast? <laughs> then I'll meet certain pastors and ask me that, have you applied communion to the, to the, to the, the blood of Jesus to the... To the <laughs> to the baller. <laughs> I'll meet somebody. Somebody asked, Have you gone on prayer walks? Prayer walks. Somebody asked me, Have you been on prayer walks in the community? I meet somebody said, You see, it's not this type of that about prayers. I meet somebody, the person said, You know, this cannot happen. He said, then he'll tell me, So, uh, uh, Bishop so and so, Bishop Oyedepo was uh, had also a building like this. Some people came. To build a breakdown, they said they were coming to break down the church because the church was too high. So he told them that for every one block that you remove, one life. <laughs> so when, when, I, when I heard that, I said, it, it sounds so powerful for one block, one life, one block, one life. And for us, they've broken the whole world, not even half a life has gone. I will call, I will pass. Say, Lord, you are disgracing me. Sometimes what you expect God to do, that is not what he does at all. And hey Lord, it's, I'm now 33, I'm now 34, and it's going to be 35. Lord, if you are going to move, you better move now. I'm giving you just one more year. You better move now. <laughs> Because, because, Lord, you know everything. You know that it's late. Lord, you know it's late. I'm 35. I'm 36. I'm 33. Lord, I'm 30. And you know there are not many 30, beyond 30 brothers in the church. You know it, Lord. You better move now. I'm giving you just <laughs> one month to move. And 35 comes to pass. Lord has not moved. 36 comes to pass. Lord has not moved. Woman, whilst you wait, please do not become bitter against me. If Elizabeth was bitter, she would not have gone to the church anymore. If she was bitter, she would not have been found in the temple praying. If she was bitter, her husband would not have been found there praying and giving incense. If she was bitter, she would not even have prayed for other people. The Bible says that her husband was the one burning the incense and there was a crowd outside. That's how they prayed. The priest would go into the holy place and talk to God for the people and the people were gathered outside waiting. And the Bible says this man was inside burning the incense, praying for other people. And his prayer has not been answered. Yet he was not hurt. And he was not bitter. Woman, while you wait, please don't be hurt. Please don't be bitter. God knows about your situation. God is answering your case. He may not come when you want him to come. Or he may not even come in the, what you expect him to do. But he's still your God. Amen. And you can't do anything without him. You can't live in this life without him. Please don't be bitter. Amen. Daughters, you are blessed. Amen. I say you are blessed. Amen. Come on, lift up your hand and thank him.
Thank you. Thank you. Perhaps you are praying that your husband will be saved while you wait. 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 Thank you. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I want everybody, every, you see, how many are waiting for God to do certain things? Listen, while you wait, go to church. Become a leader. Become a pastor. Be a righteous person. Have faith in God. Don't give up believing God. Don't become bitter. Serve him with all your heart. Pray for others. Don't let your problem get you down so much so that you can't even do anything anymore. Be open. God is going to be. I see God sending a healing stream into your life in Jesus' name. Oh, I see it. As those of you listening to me by tape, by television, by radio, by whatever, God has a plan and a time that he's going to pour his blessing. Oh, whether it is this or that, or a husband or a child or whatever it is. Please, while you wait, don't let the devil chew up your spirit. Don't let him make you so angry and so hateful that you cannot even rejoice when you see somebody else getting married or you see somebody else having a child or you see somebody else having a blessing or you see somebody else having a car or you see somebody else building a house. While you wait for your own, don't let, don't let that thing kill your spirit. Please, please, you are going to need God. Please. Let your spirit be open. While you wait, daughter, while you wait, for God to move on your behalf and to answer your prayer, let your spirit be free. Serve him. Serve him like Elizabeth served God. Come to church like she came to church. Be a priest like she was a priest. Oh, be in the right place at the right times. Oh, let your waiting be on the Lord. Let your eyes be on him. For he's going to do it. 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 Stand on your feet, everyone, please. Please don't turn off the tape yet. Don't turn off the tape. We're still ministry. Stand to your feet, please. Mando para la maca para la mamá de la vida. Anoche. Again and again, 
You've heard the Lord say, I see you being blessed. I see you being lifted. I see you being married. I see God answering your prayer. I see solutions coming. The Spirit is also saying, there shall be a performance of those things which have been spoken. Lift up your hand right now. Receive it and thank Him as we close this service today. Thank Him for His power, His anointing, His glory. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you for your presence, Lord. Thank you for your power, Lord. I see your power flowing in this room tonight, today. I see your power flowing to heal, Lord. I see your power flowing to restore. I see your power flowing to bring answers at the right time. Oh, while your people wait, Lord. While your people serve you. While your people do their best for you, Lord. While they do what they can do. While they are leaders, Lord. While they are pastors, Lord. While they are serving you, Lord. Oh, Lord, answer their prayer, Lord. Let there be a performance, Lord, of the things that have been said over their lives, oh God. Let there be a performance now, Lord. Let there be a performance, Lord. Take away bitterness and hurt, oh Lord. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh yes, oh yes, anointing, fall on me, sweet anointing, come on wave your hand to the Lord and thank him, fall on me, sweet anointing, anointing, sweet anointing, fall on me, let the power, your power, your spirit, Lord, working in every heart and in every life. Thank you that there is a performance, Lord, a performance of great things for your daughters and your sons. While we wait, Lord, we shall continue to serve you and we shall not be angry and hurt and bitter. But we know that there shall be, 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 there shall definitely be a performance, a performance, a performance of the things you have spoken over our life. We thank you that we are prepared to pray for others, even if we ourselves have a problem. We are prepared to help others, even if we need help. We thank you. There is a performance and a supernatural work in our lives. In Jesus' name. And as every head is bowed today and every eye closed, if you are here today, you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, you want to say, Pastor, please pray with me, pray for me. I want to give my life to God. I want you to pray for me especially before we close. If you are here like that and you don't know whether you are born again or you don't even understand it, but you want to say, Pastor, please pray for me before we go home. I want to be born again. I want my life to be in God from today. If you are here like that, raise up your right hand. Raise up your right hand. Thank you. Just lift it up high. I see your hand. I see your hand. Thank you. I see, I see it. I see it. I see it. God bless you. If you've lifted your hand, please come all the way to the front right here. And I'm going to pray with you. There's room, there's room, there's room. Close your eyes, say, Lord Jesus, 
please forgive me for all my sins. I receive Jesus as my master and my savior. And from today, I repent from all my sins, from all my wicked ways, and I accept Christ, Jesus, as my Lord and my Master. Thank you, Father. Please wash my sins away. Please wash my sins away. Please wash my sins away in the blood of Jesus. Thank you. Please write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' name, amen, amen.